wrote down our goals at the beginning of the season. One is to win the West and make it to Indy. So, I mean, all of that's still in front of us as long as we, you know, go into each week and come out with the win. It's a rare occasion where you're going to be facing a team with a defense that, you know, because of that scoring defense. Does that put a little more pressure on the defense to pull you know, the offense out of the end zone to give your offense a chance? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, we just really focus on their offense. I mean, they have a great defense, too. I know it's a little unique compared to, like, how other teams run their defenses. But, I mean, I think it would be fun. Just, a, you know, fun to go out there and compete against another great defense. So. When you come off a game in the Michigan game, is, it, is there a humbling feeling that you guys have played so well defensively, but now you see there's stuff you need to work on? A little bit of a humbling feeling? Yeah, definitely. There is a – they – I believe we're putting up like 50 points or wherever it was, you know, a lot of yards. So we knew that they, they had like big play, explosive offense, but definitely, you know, I mean, we we didn't come uh, prepared and we didn't execute well enough in the, at the end of the day. So Can that help you in, in the future, knowing that uh, this is, these are mistakes we got to fix? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think we, we uh, looked at that on Saturday, you know, just watching the tape with Coach Bell and, I mean, there's a lot we can still improve on, and that's that's what's so fun about football. Like you're never 100% perfect, so <laughs> that's that's what makes it fun. You know, this was a team last year ran a lot of zone. Now they they seem to probably go more gap than zone. It looks like at least. Yeah. Um, how have they been able to kind of be so successful? And then, of course, allows Chase Brown. He's leading the yeah. country in rushing yards. Yeah, I I know just from. Uh, what Coach Parker was telling us, Belima at Wisconsin, he was not he like he wanted to run the ball down your throat, and then he got to um, or he's here at Illinois, and I mean he's doing the same thing. I mean I think it starts with like the coaches, and then they just you know implement it into the players, and you can see the they're really you know taking his word for it and believing in him. So I mean props to those guys. They they are doing a good job running the ball and really offense as a whole because they have. Guys on the outside, uh, receiver number one, big play guy. I mean, he can take the top off the defense. So we're going to have to be ready for not just for the run, but everything they throw at us. Is it exciting knowing I mean, they haven't had this? They're going to have an incredible atmosphere there. They mm -hmm. haven't had that. And they haven't basketball, but not football for yeah. a long, long time. Um, do you guys get a charge out of that too? I mean, Rutgers was kind of that way, but I think this one will probably be up a notch. Yeah. I mean, it's a, I think it's an orange job, I'm pretty yeah. sure. So. I mean, I'm, it's going to be a great atmosphere for them and for us. I mean, I personally, like, there's nothing that beats Kinnick, but also going to, like, an away team's uh, field when they have, like, a lot of fans there, it's also very fun to play in. I mean, if you see them, like, walking out, like, in the third, fourth quarter, it's, like, a, it's a great feeling. What are the most difficult road environments so far that you've been to? Um, I, I would say a lot of guy, older guys told me uh, Penn State, but when we played them, when I traveled, it was COVID, so I didn't even get to experience that. But um, Iowa State's always one. You get off the bus and the, their fans are like right there by you. Um, who else could I think of? Um, i trying to think back to last year. So we've had a lot of a lot of home games this year. Uh, Wisconsin, they play the jump around and everything, like kind of get under your skin a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I feel like all Big Ten teams really have a good uh, atmosphere at their games though, overall. Yeah, we'll find out in a couple of weeks too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I still haven't, but yeah, haven't been there yet, so. Nobody else on your team has either. Yeah. Because they were all in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you look at, the, when you looked at the film and what Michigan's offensive line was able to kind of do, kind of dictate tempo. Mm -hmm. um, was it frustrating, or how did you kind of, what, what kind of went through your mind as you're watching the film? I mean, were they just that technically proficient? Were you guys doing something wrong, or were they just frankly better than you in, in a lot of situations? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say better. I mean, both teams, like both, like we were trying, like we were giving all our effort, and I'm sure they were too. I mean, I, at the end of the day, it just comes down to execution and executing. I don't think. Me personally, I don't think I executed well enough, and uh, I think it showed. Like in the game, there was some some pretty big gaps in that in the middle, and then also just not having enough knockback and you know creating edges, so they so the running back had to cut the ball up. So, I mean, that's something I've taken into uh, this week with practice with me. You know, just being better at my fundamentals and you know trying to improve that way. How have you seen Lucas Van Ness grow over the last few years? Uh, a lot. I mean. Definitely, like, physically, but also mentally. Like, he's getting the defense down, and now he plays all four 
like inside and outside. So, I mean, that that's a lot, too, just to know the responsibilities for the inside guys and the outside guys. But he's taking uh, great steps. It seems like a lot of guys at Iowa make that almost look easy going from inside to outside. Yeah. But how difficult is that? It's, it's very difficult. There's different call. I mean, inside, to me, I believe inside is easier than outside with the amount of calls and stuff you get. Maybe not playing, like, the technique, like taking on double teams, teams almost every play. But it definitely, like, the call, all the calls and responsibilities they have are a lot more than the guys inside.